Hello everyone and welcome back to Turbo Dismount. It's now holiday season which means we get a new character, a new level, and a new vehicle. Sort of. This vehicle right here which is the um, you know original vehicle, the delivery van, it's supposed to have presents that fall out of it as you drive it. At least that's what it showed when, uh, when I started up the game. So let's just go ahead and dismount this dude. Uh, I'm gonna say go straight instead of going uh, to the side. Where's the presents? Santa, where's the presents, Santa? It's supposed to be presents over here. Maybe we need to be in the special level first. Okay, let's just go to select level and figure scraping. Yeah, there you go. So you can see it is presents down here. Maybe you can't see it, but you will see it. Okay, now we have the delivery van and there's presents in it. Okay, whew, Christmas is saved. Thank you so much, Santa. I was really worried that we weren't gonna be able to actually have our presents. So what the hell do we gotta do down there? Okay, so we needed to drive in here, go all the way around, do a figure eight, and then leave again. That is not gonna happen. Or will it? No, it won't. But we'll try. That's pretty fast. I feel like that's a bad idea to go that fast. You're losing all your presents, Santa. You're gonna be the worst delivery man ever. Don't you do this every year? Where are, what, why are you in a snowbank? Okay, he's turning around, guys. Don't worry, everything's gonna, he got hit by a snowplow. Santa got ran over by a snowplow, driving his delivery van today. So how about we go a little bit slower on this one? That wasn't even slow at all. Santa, stop. Stop. Slower. There. That's nice and slow. Okay, just just going out for a nice Sunday drive. Number one is complete. Don't touch me. Don't you dare touch me. Oh, shit. Santa, go faster. Santa! Santa! Oh, shit. Oh, Jesus. Oh, they've killed Santa again. This is the worst Christmas ever. All right, this time it's slightly faster again. Only slightly, though. But uh, maybe it'll be enough. I mean, if we go with the right... Uh Shit. What I was gonna say is if we go at the right time, we might be able to get it anyway because we wouldn't hit the snowplow, but we gotta restart. There, try that one. Yes. Yes. Okay, Santa's doing a little bit of a drift. That's good, that's cool. Look at that. Okay, that's some good handling you got there, Santa. Okay, be careful, careful. Oh, oh, you got sideswiped by a son of a bitch. It's okay though, it's Christmas, so we can just forget about that. All right, here we go, guys. I think this is it. This is the one right here. Ooh, be careful. I want you to be able to do it. He's going nice and fast, but he's like a total idiot when he drives. <laughs> he goes out in snowbanks all the time. Come on. Well, he's trying to turn around, guys. He's going to do it, okay? Santa does not give up. That's that's why there's a Christmas, because Santa does not give up. Even though there's billions of houses to go to, he's like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm Santa Claus, and I'm going to do it. And this is him doing it right now. Got hit by two vehicles that time. All right, I'll give you two more tries, including this one. So one more try after this. But I feel like this is a good try here, okay? It's a good speed. We just dodged that dude. That guy's not coming over here, so that's good. Oh, God, maybe he is. Go, Santa, go. Okay, good, good, Santa. Good, you're doing good, okay? I'll be your motivational coach. You can do it, okay? And also, after Christmas, you're gonna make a New Year's re revolution, revolution? Resolution to lose weight, okay? Because you're kind of fat, but it's okay. Because I'm supposed to be a motivational dude. So you're not fat, you're just you're just slightly overweight. And you're gonna be okay, because you're gonna lose some weight. Okay, maybe I should just maybe I should just accept Santa for who he is, because he's doing pretty damn good, okay? He's not even fat. I should have put the fat one on. That's my fault. But okay, he did it. Look at that. Man, we got to the end right when the dismount completed. Seriously though, guys, I definitely do need to um, change Santa into maybe Mr. Heft. Oh, Jesus, Santa, don't just show me your crotch like that. That's not what I asked for. Holy crap, take that off the menu. Uh, and don't get up there either, because that's just as disgusting. Why are you doing this, Santa? This, this, you're ruining Christmas. Oh, my God, he doesn't even have a regular pose he can use in this thing. Sweet Jesus, I gotta go one more time just to see this happen. Full speed, Santa! Oh, my God. Ooh, this is not gonna be good. He's already fallen out. This is why you don't twerk during Christmas, and you don't twerk in the snow and you don't twerk when there's all kinds of snow plows around either and you just in general don't twerk moving on to a new level where Santa will hopefully I was gonna say survive more but I'm gonna say hopefully survive less because there's no way he's gonna make it out of here uh, this is a car volcano so we just got to drive into it uh, yeah I don't think we're gonna make it out of here so just be prepared for that okay I don't want you to be disappointed when you die let's just let's just make him go nice and slow it's a nice, gentle drive into a whole lot of vehicles going up in the air. Yep. That's what I expected to happen. I wonder where Santa is right now. Santa? Santa? Hello? Okay, there's a part of Santa. I think that's all we're going to find. 
who knows what happened to the rest of them. His head's gotta be around here somewhere though, right? What the f What is happening down here? I'm getting out of here. <laughs> Everything's going all nuts. Let's put Santa in something different, okay? Maybe if we put Santa in a monster truck, everything will be okay. I'm interested to see what kind of poses he has in this thing. I don't remember um, checking out Mr. Heft's poses. Okay, that one's nice and provocative. What else you got here, buddy? Oh, shit. Okay, I take that back. The other one's nothing compared to this one. And you also have... Uh... Okay, now that is super bold, and I'm going to go with it, okay? I believe in you, Santa Claus. I believe you can do it. Look at him, guys. He's just such a freaking badass standing up there like, Yeah, I'm Santa Claus, and you guys are just going to have to deal with it. In this case, when we say dealing with it, we mean hitting him really, really, really freaking hard. Let's see that happen. Go, Santa, go. Whoa. That is really high. We hit the ceiling that time? Holy shit, I didn't even know there was a ceiling and we managed to hit it. Okay, good. Kerbal Space Dismount. Somebody made a rocket ship in this game and we're gonna fly it. We're gonna fly off it. I suppose would be the better thing to say here. How does this even work? You're not even doing it. Oh, I think I know what's going on here. So when you hit the mines, you fly up into the air, right? Just like a rocket ship flying up into the air when it, you know, goes to space and shit. Or whatever the hell they do with rocket ships these days. I don't know, man. <laughs> what are we going to put them in this time? Um, hmm, that would be a good uh, vehicle to put Santa in. Let's put him in the tumbler, okay? There you go, buddy. Now, how you doing for poses this time? Let me let me switch over to you here. All right. Okay. Not bad. I think I'm going to go with that one this time. So get that booty ready, Santa. You are going to space. Whoa, okay. And not too not uh not not too intense now, buddy. Okay, take it easy. Jesus Christ. <laughs> what is that down there? Oh, that's the little bricks. I was going to say, "What in the hell?" Look at all those things! Look at all that physics, man! You think you've seen sexy, but you haven't seen sexy until you've seen Santa Claus lying provocatively on a skateboard sexy. Merry Christmas, motherfuckers! Let's do this. It's so quiet. I love it. It's the one thing I love about, um, you know, uh, using like a, a skateboard or something without a motor in it, is you don't have to listen to the freaking sound of the motor. You gonna be able to get up here? Yeah, you can do it. You can do it. He's, he's, he's kind of uh, kind of falling off a little bit, but no big deal. Here we go. This is amazing. That that is is truly truly beautiful. We got to try one more vehicle with you, Santa, and I think you know what it's gonna be. Let's get you on the pink lightning. What is that supposed to be like? A little giggle or something? Like <laughs> riding the pink lightning. What else we got here? We got uh, okay. Yep, that's just completely physics defying right there. Putting his head right through those handlebars. Yeah, you, you kill it, Santa. You kill it. And we got that. Okay, let's go with the dead man. Okay. You can just you can just watch your doom upside down this time. Oh Santa. You are always so beautiful. What in the hell just flew up in the air then? So he flies up into the air and then Okay. The tricycle flew up into the air, too. That was pretty intense, man. That was pretty freaking intense. This level right here is actually made for using the Sasquatch on, so that's what we'll use. It's a, it's a monster truck course. It's just going to drive over stuff and hopefully get hopefully get to the end. Now, I mean, I've done other things before where I thought we would get to the end and we couldn't, so I'm thinking maybe if the, if the level is designed to be used with just a monster truck, the monster truck should be guaranteed to get to the end one way or another. I could be wrong. We're about to find out. I think we're gonna go with first person mode for this one, guys, just to make it extra exciting. So we gotta try and get through those trains, right? Oh, shit. Okay, never mind. No first person mode because that shit always. How did you screw that up so. Just say, whoa, 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 careful. Big old wheel on your face. Didn't didn't even hurt you. Okay, let's try vehicle camera, guys. Um, There's a big old speed pad right there. I don't know if that's really a thing we should have, but we got it. So let's see. So we're gonna fly over here, and that that's. Okay. Great, thank you. So what time, what, at what point should we actually put this thing across? Oh, that's that's pretty slow. Let me get that a bit faster here. Like there. Is that good? No, I think the next train's gonna be here before that one leaves. Yep, great. Up we go. Yes, we actually did it. I did not expect that to work. Why are we going straight? Oh, I gotta steer this myself? Oh, 
Well, now I just feel like an idiot. I thought there was other steering on here that was gonna do it for me. Okay, well, let me just, let me just, let me just take a second to absorb that before I start. Okay, now I'm ready. So the trick here, guys, is to wait until it gets right to the end and then go. And now by the time we get there, that should be across again. Okay, almost, but we're still going. Okay, just slow us down a little bit. That's probably a good thing. It might be a good idea to be a little bit slow. So you probably wouldn't have made that if you weren't going so slow. So I think I did good there. Good job, Matt. Good job. Oh, careful to the wall. Okay. We just got a slight bump on that. No! No! Oh, shit. All right, guys. This time we got it. We're going nice and fast. We got right through that little gap. Now we just got to control this vehicle good. Mmm. Look at that handling right there. I am just so great. There we go. Oh. Come on. Nice and straight. Nice and straight. Nice and straight, Santa. Come on. Come on, Santa. Santa, you never give me what I want for Christmas. All I want is to complete this track. Okay, here we go. Here we go. This is the one. Oh, yeah. We got it. Okay. I don't feel like we're going to make the rest of it, guys. I really don't feel it. Oh. Yes. Oh, out of my way, bitches. No, 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 no. No. All right. So this time, we're going a lot slower, but we managed to make the jump anyway. So I think we'll be in good shape to actually beat it. Just gotta spin around, there you go. Oh yeah, oh yeah, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. Don't touch me, don't touch me, you bitches. And we fly up this thing and we hit a wall? Yeah, okay, great. Well, Merry Christmas. And he landed in the box. I'm guessing that's how we're supposed to end it, so. All right, let's do one more. This one is called Obstacle Course. Looks to me like there's a loop-to-loop uh, like a, a -loop starting off. Okay. What else we got here? Some vehicles we gotta get past, and fly over a ramp, and then go through there, and I'm guessing we're just gonna die at that point, because there's a bunch of vehicles going down there. All right, well that's cool. If we can make it over there, we can die. Okay, I got full speed. I didn't even mean to start. I thought, okay, well, doesn't even matter, because that was a total fail. So first of all, we gotta get a new vehicle. I'm thinking we may go with the wedge. Let's go with the wedge. Nice and classic, okay? Nice and classic. Something for Santa to show up his sexiness with. What you got? Okay. Balls on the exhaust. That's always a good move. And so is lying down sexily in the front seat. We already saw that pose before, okay? I'm sick of that one. We're going with balls on the exhaust. Uh, he's totally going to fall off, guys. This is not going to work at all. But here we go anyway. See you later, Santa. See you later, car. Okay, tell you what. You may want to lie in here. This may actually be the best thing for him in this case. So, try it again. Woo! That was a hard smack. A very hard smack. So was that one. Maybe I'm going too fast. Maybe I only need to go about this fast. Just enough to get to this thing so we can start going fast here. And then we can spin up around. And come on. Ah! Oh! Perhaps we should put Santa on something a little safer. I mean, I don't even know what to put him in. Maybe the boogie bus. I mean, if you're in the boogie bus, you might not fall out so easy because of all the, like, you know, the fact that it has, like, a roof on it and stuff. I think that could work. What you got for the boogie bus today? Okay. You could hang it at the back. You could stand on the top doing the splits, or you could be in it. I think you should be in it. Let's give that a try. I'm not sure how fast we need to make a boogie bus go to make it go, you know, in a loop, but that's fast enough. Turns out Boogie Bus is actually the perfect vehicle for the job. Holy crap. And down we go. Where did all the cars go, man? Shit. I thought, I thought Santa was going to immediately get hit by a vehicle, but he didn't. Okay, guys. We're going to try this one more time, but with a motorcycle. Because I haven't tried that yet. And motorcycles are probably pretty good at getting over loop-de-loops. So here you go, Santa. That was a bad attempt. Bit slower this time, okay? You don't need to go crazy here. Up around. And what the hell is going on with this motorcycle? It's probably because he's off balance. Why don't we put him on here like that? There. That is the way you ride a motorcycle, Santa. Finally, you've done something right. Hmm. Okay, extra dental on this one, guys. And three, two, one. Shit. What about a moped? Can you do better on a moped? Or no? No, you cannot do better on a moped. Maybe the moped can do better without you, though. Huh? Nope, still sucks. And the last motorcycle in the game, the Corley. What can we do here? You're not... No, no, you aren't the queen. Stop waving. I'm gonna go about half speed. And... Ma okay, yeah, that's not gonna work. You can't do that. No, no. I've given up. I, I don't care anymore. Clearly, 
Santa Claus cannot do a loop-de-loop -loop in a motorcycle. All right, guys. Well, that is where we're going to end this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.